What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So, for those of you that follow the channel, you know we just talked about Apple having a big day today. They announced the new spring event on September 12th for all the new iPhones, the iPhone 15 series devices, the new Apple Watch, new Apple Watch Ultra, and everything that goes along with it, possibly new AirPods, and all of that as well for next month. But they also released Beta 8 for uh, iOS 17, and Watch OS 10 Beta 8 just came out as well. So this should be a quick, short, simple video for you guys today. I want to show you guys the final build number on this Beta 8. We are anticipating probably one more build. It might not even be a Beta necessarily, but it could be the RC or release candidate for Watch OS 10. That should be coming on September 12th on that announcement day. So let's jump right into it, take a look at this, keep this one short and sweet, not expecting any new features as you guys probably know by now. Uh, let's go. So as you can see here, we just finished updating to Beta 8, and again, not expecting a lot of new features. You can see it is still taking a little bit of time to load like some of the prior betas have, but once this loads up and all our details populate, we would be ready to go as usual. Um, and one thing I can tell you is just how smooth the animations have been since beta 7 as you can see here that is very nice the effects are good in the stock app and a lot of the weather apps and everything else as well it just looks that good beyond that let's go ahead and jump into the settings and take a look at the build number here to show you what the final beta build number should be so going right into it general about version here you can see we are looking at Build 21R5355A. Again, that A signifies that usually this is a final build. This is always good to see when you're, if you guys don't know, Apple works backwards from the alphabet from Z to A on beta builds. The closer to A, the more ready it is for a release. And yeah, here we go. We have that beta build of an A. So again, the next beta we are assuming, or I should say the next build we're assuming, is that RC, the release candidate build. Now, in addition to that, one thing I do want to talk about is the calendar for when this should happen. And for those of you that follow the channel, you guys know, we've been talking about this for a couple weeks. We are obviously at the end of August. We just said the next event is going to be announced for the 12th which is exactly two weeks away, and that is when Apple will announce the official release dates for the RC or release candidate build for all of the new operating systems, including Watch OS X for the 12th. So that is definitely good to see. Beyond that, again, everything has been working really good in these last two betas for us. It's been very smooth haven't had any real hiccups. Battery life has improved significantly, especially on our Ultra since Beta 7. So that is awesome. Definitely happy to have that great battery life back as well. One call out, since I know a lot of people have been uh, concerned and complaining about the battery life on these, uh, we'll say, beta devices. I want to show you that we have been running WatchOS 10 betas the whole time, and unlike what we had on our iPhone, you can see here the maximum capacity is still 99% a year later on this Apple Watch Ultra. Definitely nice to see and awesome to have. Setting that aside, if we actually get our iPhone out and go to the feedback app, you can see here there is a ton, and I'm not going to go through them all, but a ton of resolved issues all throughout the OS that is making it so much smoother and easier to operate as far as giving better features and new features added that have been talked about for these releases. So again, I'm not going to go through them all. You can actually pay, you know, pause this if you'd like or just go in the feedback app or Apple website to find these, but you can just see how extensive this list is. So yeah, we're not even halfway done. You get the point. Definitely good to see. I'm very excited, especially excited to see what they do with the Ultra 2 that is rumored to be released this year as well. So yeah, keeping this one short and sweet guys, let me know what you think. Are you excited for the Apple event and the Watch OS 10 release? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.